Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Walking Dead episode. Today we are going to a little bit of a situation. We are just were patrolling, normal day patrolling, and we had a call of a request for some assistance. Don't really know what it is. Uh, it was over the radio. There, it, it seems like something has happened. There's a bunch of people there already. Uh, they just needed some more people just in case it gets a little bit too crowded. So we're in our little police gear. Look at this. Rick's police gear. I forgot there's actually like trousers. As you can see, like, look, Rick looks official. Look at this. It looks official. He's got like the sheriff's deputy car from Walking Dead. He's got the outfit and everything. By the way, guys, did you watch the, uh, was it 100th episode? I think Walking Dead episode 100. Did you guys like it? Did you, well, how was it? Let me know. Let me know down below, guys. Did you enjoy it? Did you didn't enjoy it? Was it good? Was it bad? But uh, we're heading over there. So it's a little bit of a drive. It is just about past Polito Bay a little bit. It's, it's through Polito. We need to go to the bridge. Uh, it's around that area where the situation has happened. I honestly don't really know what to expect. Uh, I don't know what they need from me. If they already have people there. But they said arrive here with uh, you know some sense of urgency. So saying that, I'm going to put my sirens on. So we can go past the people here, because I don't really want to get stuck in traffic here, uh, you know, just in case they need some assistance, because I don't really know what is going on over there. So we're going to rock. Well, look at that guy. What the hell? He's trying to come in. Oh, shit. Shazza going to a little bit too fast there. No paying attention. Got to be careful. I'm a goddamn police officer. I can't make accidents. What is worse than getting hit by a police car? I don't know. Is there anything like, you know, these guys meant to prevent accidents, and then and then you get hit by a police car? You know, that, that's that's... That's kind of messed up. I wonder how often that happens. Like when police are chasing people. How often that happens? Like the police officer hits somebody and they die or something. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's kind of sad. I wonder how that, how often that happens. Kind of got a little bit off topic there. <laughs> not, not anything to do with with uh, Walking Dead. But uh, here we go. We're just past this, I think, uh, mountain kind of side down here. And we'll be able to hit it. Uh, the situation it's on our left on the little dirt track well actually it's a little bit up ahead I think a little bit up here okay it's down here here we bloody go guys so uh, I need to actually squeeze through here sorry guys don't mind me uh, I'll just go down here and we'll park right here that'll be good enough for me so Jesus Christ God Almighty what the fuck has happened down here look at this there's loads of people there's uh, the people have completely Closed off. There looks like there's the Los Santos Police Department. That looks like Highway Police Department. And then they got the Sheriff's Department here as well. So uh, let me have a look what's going on over here. I'll, we'll go there in a second. Looks like the situation is up there by the looks of things. I'm just going to make sure everything is okay. Everything's A OK -okay down here. You know what I mean? So th there's looks like there's a helicopter here. We've got a couple of paramedics here as well. I guess maybe they took the helicopter to arrive here. They kind of look like they're having a break here. Looks like down here. This is maybe why I got called out here. Because there's a couple of paparazzi guys here. But it looks like she's got it under control here. Uh, she's got the car here. Let me just talk to these guys. Gentlemen, I don't mind you taking photos. That's all and well and dandy. But guys, do not enter or do not disturb the scene. Okay, guys. Otherwise, we will have to arrest you, detain you, you know, tempering with crime. You know, you, all that good stuff, guys. So don't go there. I don't want to see you guys is there. Uh, that you, you're allowed to take photos. Make sure you get my good side. But do not even get near there, okay, my friends? Don't be doing it. All right. So we got to get over here. These are my biggest nemesis here. Oh, no, actually, Rick is pretty good. Well, why can Rick just jump over these really easy? But when you try to do this as Franklin, he's, like, retarded. Is that because Franklin's short or something? He can't jump over these. Franklin just can't. Rick, look at him. R Rick's a real man, though. He just climbs over him like he don't give it. He don't give a damn. So let's have a look what's actually happening up here. It looks like it's all kind of locked down here. Uh, they got a barricaded off. It looks like uh, they got the uh, fire department. Everybody and their mother is over here at the moment. So fire department. We got FBI here, police, sheriff, uh, department. Look at this. Holy cow. Okay. It looks like I'm guessing something bad has happened here. Before we get there, I'm presuming like a murder or something. Firefighters here as well. Uh, maybe there was a fire or something, but let's see. Where's the crime? <sighs> oh, okay, guys. What the? That's a body. Why? Okay. Uh, so we got paramedics here. FBI's taking, taking some, taking some pictures and stuff. Uh, this guy looks like he has some information. So, uh, you know what happened here? That looks like. It's a head, a hand, maybe part of a leg or something. Wow. Wow. 
that's pretty goddamn serious right there. So over here we got it looks like another little piece of evidence here. A van. This could be the guy's van. This could be his van. This could be a van that was involved in this. Uh, again, we don't really know the information here, but I guess we have a license plate. So take down that license plate. We'll know who's going to be registered to. A registered owner, address, something, maybe the guy's name. Uh, you know, this could be in the victim's car or maybe the actual, you know, murderer's vehicle. Okay, so I found out the reason why we were called to this location is because normally I patrol these uh, canyons very often. This is this is the area I patrol here. And I wanted to know if this is anything I've seen before uh, from maybe like a bear attack, a coyote or something, or like a, a mountain lion or anything. And guys, this is not something I've seen before. Uh, you know, this is very, very bad. This is, uh, it either looks something unhuman, ate it, terrestrial kind of thing. But if I had to guess, that was some kind of very, very creepy murderer. And maybe that's his calling son or something. I mean, it looks like... It does look like there's bite marks on it. Like something's been eating it, chewing it. I mean, I don't know if a human is capable of that. Like teeth-wise. Animal, yes. Like a big bear could do done that. But there'd be more body parts than this. There, For one, there'd be like clothes. You'd see clothes and they don't eat clothes, right? They, You'd see like... But there's no... There's no shoes, there's there's no evidence of clothes anywhere, unless there's maybe like some body parts somewhere around else. That's a bit messed up, guys, so that's lovely. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, that's it's quite gross. Pretty gross. So let's have a look what's going on over here. Uh, looks like we have a witness, maybe. Or did... Oh, she this... Oh, wait, is that... What's this? Uh, okay. Uh, she, I think, uh, discovered... Uh, the body there. I'm just taking it. It's kind of right now. Suspicious of this person. Uh, because one, why would she be here walking? Just discovering. Look, she's in high heels, right? This is like a hiking trail. You know what I mean? That's a little bit suspicious. Uh, she just discovered the body here walking, right? Um, unless like she's a hooker and they did some nasty business in there and she's walking back or something, which could be a thing that does happen actually quite often here. They come here, do the business and then, you know, they exit the car and walk to this location here to get an Uber back into town. So that could be something. I mean, ask her if she's a hooker or something, right? But uh, we'll see. So over here we have, uh, what do we have over here? We have a freaking division ready for North Korea. What the fuck? Look at this guy. Grenade launcher. Why? Who are we fighting? North Korea? Machine gun, smoking, and an RPG. Are you kidding me? Don't you think it's a little bit of an overkill here? I mean, it's, it is. It, it's it's sad. It's a murder, whatever murder mystery. But what really RPG? I don't think we need that here. But uh, I guess that's all they needed from me. Just they they wanted to know if this is something I've seen before because I do patrol this area quite often. Uh, a little bit more information. Uh, looks like they barricaded all this area off, so we're pretty much free to go. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to drive into the canyon, just see if we see anything there. Uh, we'll report back to the guys if we do any see any sus suspicious activity. Uh, as far as I can tell, uh, there's nothing more we can do here apart from we're just going to get in people's ways and, you know, we'll waste time here. So we'll go do that. We'll just drive, uh, you know, through the canyon a few times or something to see if we find anything. It's kind of sad that this is happening, but maybe... We'll get some updates eventually once forensics get here, you know, they'll check some fingerprints and all that stuff. But that doesn't really look like a normal animal attack to me. Guys, let me know who you think this might have been, okay? Who do you think did this, eh? Who the hell? Who the hell would have done this, eh? I wonder if you have any ideas, guys. I wonder. Alright, well, let's head back into our cruiser and we'll just drive down the road. Uh, there's another way to get through to the canyon area so we're just gonna take this bad boy go across here perfect that guy's a little drunk I don't know what he's doing uh, I'll keep my sirens on just for now so while we get down there we'll take the bus here and everything like that I mean it's fine I'll, I'll turn off my sirens once we actually get into the canyon area so I don't like scare anybody off but for now we'll just keep it I mean I'm sure there's been a lot of noise and activity around this area anyway so if anybody was hiding there probably would have ran away by now anyway uh, especially like you know the guy that did this so here's the turn we're gonna go down here uh, here we go take a nice little right and we are down into the canyon area so I don't really know what to expect uh, honestly to, to be fair I honestly don't think I'm gonna find anything 
Uh, it's going to be a bit like the same the time with, with the uh, weird hazard suit guys, which I haven't heard from ever since that situation. When they asked me to, you know, see if I have seen anything suspicious activity from the guy. And to be fair, we still haven't heard anything from from that. I mean, I, I, I don't know if that's an ongoing thing, if, if there's something happening here. Uh, we haven't heard anything suspicious. We haven't had an incident. I mean, this is the only incident we had since that hazard guys, uh, you know, came up to me and talked to me. So, I don't know if that has a connection or anything like that. But right now, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think that's even an important thing to bring up to those guys, you know, the police department or anything like that. I don't think they have a connection, but uh, here's the type of stuff we needed to check. You know, there's a car here, so we'll just park up here, see if anything suspicious is, is, is happening here. It doesn't look like it. These guys might have just left their car here to hike around, but I'm just going to have a look in there, see if there's anything suspicious. It doesn't look like a couple of deer over here. Yeah, nothing going on here probably just hiking and sightseeing so guys thank you for watching this episode let me know what you think uh, hopefully you enjoyed this murder mystery at the moment murder crime scene mystery uh, boys and girls we'll see your faces in the next video uh, where we'll continue on the story of the walking dead hopefully you enjoyed this join this let's i almost said let's play it's not let's play this uh this goddamn real kind of a uh, real life-esque series of uh, walking dead i appreciate a lot of support guys make sure you leave a like click share all the good does how much i'm gonna appreciate it and uh, i'm excited to progress this, this story further and further to the point of total zombie apocalypse breakout it's gonna be great guys i'll see you then take it easy have a good day and let me know what you think guys bye